My MS li laptop has been dying after 20 to 30 minutes, and then looking at the HW info here, you can see that it's showing my battery. They're thinking it's about 30,000 um, milliwatt hours, which it should be closer to 50, so I decided to replace the battery. Here's the battery capacity report that's run in Windows 11. You can see here that it's kind of changed over the few months. Um, you know, there's some places here where it's showing 10,000 milliwatt hours, which it should be, you know, 50,000, so five times that. Um, so I went ahead and decided it was time to replace the battery, so I have done that, or what you'll see here in a moment. So here is just showing that even in this battery report, it's showing that the maximum was about 40,000 milliwatt hours. Um, but it didn't matter. The battery, no matter what, would only last for 20 to 40 minutes, even with minimal, minimal use. Um, so we'll see here in a minute. I'll compare the same stats, but the battery did improve battery life significantly. Okay, so we're going to replace the battery in my MSI laptop. Uh, the battery life has been pretty pretty poor, as you can see from, from my other videos. <clears throat> Excuse me, from my other portion of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and there's about 10 screws. So we'll just take those out. And uh, I got a new battery from Amazon. Um... I don't remember which vendor, but, you know, it's like most of the others. Made in China. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this out. Most laptops are very similar to this. You'll have, you know, 10 screws. You can see from another video I did on a Toshiba laptop I had. Um, it's the same process. 10 or so screws and then just take off the back casing the back plastic or metal depending on the machine and then change out the battery and i've tried to do a battery reset but that didn't work um there's a reset button right here So with this particular one, I found it easiest to have the laptop pull it out like this, and then you can take and separate the top from the bottom. And I also have some like little pucks or picks that work too. But for this one, it's usually not that bad. And I've also had it apart a couple times. Changing RAM. So, as you can see here, I just have, you know, a couple RAMs. Here's the hard drive, wireless card. Um, one side is the video card and one side is the GPU. I don't remember which side was which. Um, but not that important. So, some speakers, power cables, power lights, etc. Here, so this is just the battery, and we'll go ahead and take that out and replace it um, momentarily. So, here's just the battery. Um, again, it's just a Chinese battery. Uh, you can kind of see similar design. And um, they give you a little screwdriver, and I think it's, you know, the battery manual will say something like charge it up. Um, discharge 2% then charge it up to 100% for this first cycle. Uh, do not discharge to zero. Um, and that's really the big stuff. So... And I already have a screwdriver, so I'm not going to use theirs. But same idea. They do have like a little pick type thing, like I was kind of describing. 
Um, you can use this to pry this battery up, which is what we'll end up doing. Um, so we'll go ahead and get to it. So a lot of times they'll just glue it down. So we just try to get it up, try to get the glue off. Try not to break anything. Battery just comes out. Again, these are the two batteries. Um, as you can see here, this is supposed to be a 4500 milliamp hour, 4500 milliamp hour, 11.4 volts, 11.4 volts for approximately 52.4 four megawatts or excuse me watt hours which uh pretty much brings us to be about the same um overall the battery looks pretty good from a purely you know aesthetics look so as you can see here you just have like the keyboard controller um this is where the sticky tape was so it'll stick back there one of the things that you should always do is just double check your leads to make sure that they look the same. So as you see here, we have three reds and then a green, yellow, etc. you know, blue, white. So the colors don't necessarily matter if they're in the right order. Um, the big ones are, you know, it should Try to be in the right order, but we'll see if this one works. All right, so we'll get it plugged in. You wanna make sure the pin count is correct. Colors do somewhat matter, but uh, you know, they could have it flipped in the circuit. Like they could just change the colors that they want it to be. So first things first, I wanna make sure that it'll plug in. So it plugs in. Fits in the little battery groove here. So far the only kind of weirdness is the way they routed the cables here. Um, so what I'll probably do is just pull them up just a little bit so they'll be above the battery, kind of like the old battery was. So, you know, so that's the basics. I am going to try to put these rubber pieces back on just so it'll keep it from like rattling or making any kind of crazy noises. And just in an approximate area. Okay. So I'm gonna just hold on to this battery just in case this one doesn't work. But just gonna push it down in there a little bit. That's it as far as the battery replacement. And we'll go ahead and put this back on our cover. Uh, on this one, I like to put on the side where the RJ45 and HDMI and stuff like that is, mainly because it makes it a little easier. So it makes it a little easier 
to get those lined up. Sometimes what I have to do is just stick a little screwdriver just to pull it up a little bit so that it'll slide on inside of like the headphone jack, not much, just a little. And then on this other side, it just kind of goes on there, kind of snaps into place. There's a couple little clips. Super simple. All right, we'll put the screws back in and then we'll fire it up. So with the screws, I do like to put them in. Um, kind of in a crisscross pattern or at least a crossing pattern. So some in the front, some in the back. Not overly tight so that you have room if you need to move it around a little bit. I will tell you that for whatever reason, this one tends to go on there pretty poorly, the case. Um, so sometimes I have to take it apart and uh, back apart and put it back on just because things don't line up very well. Alright, All right, I'm going to look for any kind of oddities in the casing. Little bulges. So. Not bad. Went on pretty well the first time. So now I'll just double check, make sure everything's tight. All right, that's the battery replacement and cover um, installation. We'll uh, catch back up here in a minute. So here's just after uh, plugging it back in. It had been plugged in for a couple minutes. Um, as you can see here, it's charging. It was actually at about 6% whenever I first plugged it in. Now we're looking at 15. It shows about two more hours until it's done charging. Um, you know, so overall it's pretty good. And then... I might show another video or another little segment so that we can see that it, you know, it does charge over, it takes two to three hours to do this. Uh, here's just a few hours later after it's been fully charged. Um, as you can see here, it's showing, you know, 52,000 milliwatt hours, which is about what the new battery should be. So capacity um, here, we're also seeing 100%, right? It just charged over time. So overall, it's pretty good. Um, I've used it quite a bit since I installed this. And, you know, we're looking at six, eight, ten hours um, worth of use. So, you know, three or four charges, two or three charges. Uh, I went from around 20 to 30 minutes to two to four hours, right? Depending on how much I'm using it and what I'm doing with it. Um, but on average, I'm getting about three hours, which is pretty good considering that when I bought this thing brand new, it was about that.